for tuning in. I'm so excited to share with you the progress I'm making with Mr. Green. I had a bit of a change of plans. I originally was going to work on the bathroom last. It probably would have been the last area that I touched, but a couple of things happened that changed my mind. One, when I hooked the RV up to water, I discovered that the toilet was leaking. Now I probably could have fixed it quite easily, but I really didn't want to spend any time or effort fixing it because I already knew that I wanted to replace the toilet. As nice of a toilet this was, it just wasn't the right color that I had in mind and it was pretty old and beat up. So I already knew that I was going to replace it. So I didn't want to put any effort into fixing the old toilet. And secondly, if you've seen my other video, you know that the roof had some leaks and that's really where I've been spending most of my focus on. However, the weather hasn't been cooperating. It's either been raining or it was really hot, like 80, 90 degrees here in Washington and I really didn't wanna be up on the roof in that kind of weather. And so it's been a little frustrating trying to find the time to work on the roof and it also ended up being a way bigger job than I thought and a lot harder. And I started to feel really frustrated and I was getting discouraged, like I'm never gonna finish this, I'm never gonna get through this. And I thought, you know what, maybe um, I'll, work on the bathroom because it's actually the smallest and easiest room to take care of. So I thought maybe if I worked on the bathroom, I can, for one, check one thing off of the list and two, it would help motivate me and re-energize my efforts and just kind of pick up my spirits and it, it worked. It really did. It turned out great and I'm excited to share it with you and for you to see it. And it really did help re-motivate me and get me excited about uh, keep going and get the rest of the RV done. So I uh, hope you like what you see. Let me know what you think and let's check it out. Okay, here's the original bathroom. It has the lovely 90s floral wallpaper. I had already taken the mirror down that was right there, but it was a very basic square metal medicine cabinet mirror that didn't latch um, and it was just not very attractive. And then here is the almond color tub with really basic fixtures and I really wanted to brighten up the space and make everything white and new and crisp and clean and so the first thing I wanted to do was get the tub painted. I used the Rust-Oleum Tub and Tile Refinishing Kit. It's an epoxy acrylic that's specifically made to refinish bathtubs and showers. It got really great reviews and it's supposed to be really durable and last a long time. It comes with two parts. There's a base coat and also an activator and all you have to do is mix them together. When you mix them together though at first it's very watery consistency like milk and the instructions say you can start painting right away and I've seen other people paint right away but I decided to let it thicken up a little bit so I just gave it a good stir and waited about 15 to 30 minutes and while I was waiting for it to cure a little bit, I went on to the next step, which is to give the tub a really good cleaning. I just used a scouring pad and some Comet abrasive cleaner to get it really clean. And then the next step after that is to give it a good wet sanding. I used a 400 grit sandpaper and just wiped the entire tub surface. Before painting, you want to make sure the surfaces are all dry and free of dust. So I just gave it a good wipe down with a microfiber cloth. And the last step was masking anything off that I didn't want painted. I think the hardest part of this was the little drain holes, getting the little circles cut out. But other than that, that was pretty easy. Now this product gives off very strong fumes, so it's recommended to wear a mask and to also make sure the space is nicely ventilated. I'm lucky enough to have a, a window and also the fan up above, so I had a lot of airflow going through the space. And then you just paint like a normal paint. I used a small roller. Now I would have 
if I had to do it again, I would have used a foam roller instead of um, like a fiber roller because towards the end of this project, I had a lot of small little fibers that um, I had to pick out. And here's the first coat. Now with any fit painting project, the first coat always looks pretty bad, but you have to let it dry for about one to two hours. And so while it was drying, I decided to start working on the wallpaper. I just decided to go right over the existing wallpaper. So I used some crud cutter to get the area cleaned and I wiped it all down. Now I've never wallpapered before, so this was my first time and I wasn't sure what I was doing, but I picked a really easy and forgiving wallpaper that I was able to pull up and reposition a couple times because I didn't have it straight, but it was very forgiving and other than that, it was very easy to put on, and uh, I think it looks really great. I let the first coat dry for about two hours before going in for the second coat, and as you can see, the paint is starting to get thicker and thicker the more time goes by. And um, in the end, I had just about enough to finish two full coats for the tub. I was able to go back in for and, and touch up some areas that I missed or that were thin, um, but it was the perfect amount for this tub. And the last thing I did was apply some of this mosaic vinyl tile. It's like a peel and stick tile. It was my first time using this product and it was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be to cut the pieces and get them to line up, but uh, I think it really added a, a really great look to this room. So are you ready to see the final product? Well here again is the before, and here it is after. What do you guys think? I think it turned out really great. I'm so excited about it. What did you think? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below and stay tuned for more updates on Mr. Green. I'm almost ready to show you the roof. I'm almost done and I am so so ready for that part of the renovations to be done. It was it's been a lot a lot of work a lot more than I thought so um, I hope you stay tuned uh, to check that out and I'll see you next time.